Pioneer, telemetry shows a critical impact during descent. Rebooting life support systems. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Materials critical for survival. It's Success. Scan. Scanners confirm the existence of a potential life support system. Vehicle Explorer JMC X18. That's all right then. So, welcome New back to mission. my... No. Rendezvous with Explorer no. JMC X18. Um, welcome back to my... Oh, Jesus Christ, woman. Please move quickly. Okay. All right, so welcome back, guys. Um... So this video was meant to go up on Wednesday, um, but on Wednesday during the editing, uh, I found out that whoop, that the audio file had somehow become corrupted. So what I've done is I am currently redoing a video um, from that one, and I thought we would bring this into it. So we are today having a look at JCB Pioneer Mars. Um, so I'm just going to assume this is a massive, like, um, sales thing for JCB, you know, trying to, nope, can't go through there. Um, and yeah, they're just trying to show off their stuff, but if they make a, a pretty good game out of it, we, we have done quite a lot of space stuff recently. Oh, that was very close. Um, Turbulent weather patterns that have affected the mission are still within the immediate vicinity. But from what I've seen... Uh, with this so far, um, is it you can base build and everything else like that? Um, how am I down to 90%? Um, yeah, you can base build and yeah, like have a little thriving little thing here. So Please this seems to be. Use the JMC X18 scanners to find the landing zone. Success. Pre rendered habitation unit located within two kilometers. Over there. Okay, New right. Mission. Drive to the landing zone. Drive to the landing zone then. Right, I'm just going to check the music though, because that audio seems very strong. Like settings... No, oh, that seems to be fine. That's all down. So this, this is our little vehicle. This is our... This is a JCB X18 or something. It says X18 on the side. I think that's what she said. Um, so we've got to drive this to our hab. Uh, I don't know what that's going to be. Hopefully, it's going to be around here somewhere. Meteorological assessment. JMC X18's current vector will intersect with pressure-based electrostatic phenomena. Well, that doesn't sound good, to be honest. What does that mean in the real world? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Um, oh, I mean those things. Course of action recommended: evasive maneuvers. Yeah, I'm doing it. Don't have to tell me. I uh, don't overly think I want to be driving through that. Like, why do they seem to crash me on Mars when it seems to be the worst time? Like, seriously, well, that thing was following me. Is it tracking me? Oh, has it started to damage the base? Have I got a garage? That'd be kind of cool, or is that the base? I don't know, it's got ramps. Can I park in it? Let's have a look. Yeah, I can. Awesome. Right. Um, get out. E. It's not E. Q. It's Q. Q to get out. That's a strange one. Um, these just open. Whoa. Enter the hab. Yeah, without getting... Whoa, electric stormed. Please don't kill me. Sinking with habitation unit. Well, hey. Oh. Hab telemetry indicates damage occurred at approximately the same time as your interrupted descent. Okay, fair enough. New mission. Restore the habitation unit to full working order. How do I do that? Exit Hab to perform an EVA assessment of the damage. To analyse damage to the infrastructure of the habitat, all power sources are to be inspected. Okay. Left click. Go to power source 2. Return to the hab. Okay, what does that tell me? That one's venting air. That... Analysis shows that the first solar panels require repair. Gather supplies and prepare for a second EVA. Equip the nanotech repair rifle. Oh, is that this? 
How do I? E, R, Q, click, I maybe? No. Nope. F, well, that's flashlight, G. Nope, I found some crates. No. Equip the nanotech rifle. I can't. I literally can't. That is the weirdest thing ever. It won't actually let me select it. It's not E to pick up, not left, not right, not center, not scroll. What is like pick up things? This must have like settings. Uh, edit controls. <laughs> you tell, tell him I go. Oh, God's sake. Um, maybe if I go out, go back in again. What's in these? What's in you? Repair gun required. I can't pick one up. Head to the first oh. solar device. What? One. I tried that. E wasn't working. Apparently, I had to go out, come back in again. Okay, right. Let's repair this solar panel. I have 10 minutes worth of oxygen. Proceed to the garage module. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of things that need to be repaired there. This is quite a cool gun. Imagine if they had these in real life, we just shot particles at things and it repaired it. What does that do though? I'm assuming these were venting atmosphere from inside. Building repaired. There we go. Right, what's the next job? The JMC X18. Recover it. It's inside. Vehicle repaired. You need to locate a logic board and power coupling, utilizing the hub scanners to project possible location to salvage. Scanning. New mission: salvage locations for equipment. Okay. Let's go this way then. It says it's in six kilometers. Or was that one closer? No, that one's closer. No, it's not six kilometers. It was six, six hundred meters. Okay, fair enough. Might be better if this thing was a little bit faster. I wonder if you can upgrade these or build different ones, like a sporty type quick rover. I don't overly think they're going to give you a sporty type one, but you know. Um, so being inside this has given me an extra 15 minutes of oxygen, I'm assuming. I think. Let's drive around this. And then over here. Right, so it's up there. Okay, all right, let's leave you here. Don't think I can jump that. Do I way around? Level four corrosive. Okay. Is that down down there? Yeah, that definitely looks like, like very corrosive down there. So let's not fall off our little parkour map by the looks of it. Like bits of ship are literally everywhere. What happened? Did we just like explode in the sky or something? O2 reaching 50%. This is not good. We need O2 quickly. You must return the salvaged component to the hub. Okay. I will go this way. Back to my vehicle. Right, so oxygen is increased again. So it looks like there is like a limited supply. It's not like uh, you return back to base, it really fully charges back up again sort of thing. I think you... Do we have to make it? We have to find out how you make oxygen. So I didn't see any back at base. All I saw was two solar panels, the hab, a couple of crates, and the garage, but... 
Why would they send that down as like your pre-built base? Surely they'd want something a bit better than that, wouldn't they? Right. Okay, so we got to deliver this to the base. See if I can find some oxygen while I'm there. Keep telling me these. Enter the hab to install the salvaged component. Okay. Warning, O2 at 50%. Uh, I, and it wants me to just drop it in the inventory. Okay. Repair complete. Find the other missing component. Right, I've got eight minutes. Surely there's something. Well, I'm actually, that said I needed a repair tool, didn't it? That's repair materials. O2. What does this do? I. Drag resource to inventory to move it between. Two. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, I'm going to take a couple of canvases of this. I think an extra two would be pretty decent. Um, yeah, it's topped me up on enough minutes so far. I'm assuming that's where the blinky lights are coming from, is where, well, the, 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 like, the electrical surges are coming from. I'm hoping. Um... Is there a tunnel here? Okay, looks like I'm getting back out. Alright, F to toggle light. Okay, level 15 corrosive, wow. Level 1 lava. I'd hate to see, hate to see like what level 15 lava is then. <laughs> if this is level 1. Okay, I gotta remember like gravity is different on Mars. You jump and you disappear off to somewhere else. It's ridiculous. Um, oh Jesus, not down that way. Okay, let's go this way. This this just seems to have got stuck in here. All right, there's one of those. All right, let's go up this way. Yeah, let's try not to touch anything red, shall we? Nothing red and green so far we've 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 learnt not to touch. Like red will burn you. Um green will technically burn you, but then will also like melt you at the same Actually both of them will hurt you, melt you, everything, won't they? Corrosive, lava. They're pretty much the same thing, just one's in gas form, one's in liquid form. Not really something you want. A level fifteen corrosive. That would just eat you, wouldn't it? Like to be honest, I don't even know the levels. Like it tells me it's a level 15 that could be that could be normal maybe a hundred is the most severe like there isn't really much of a base for this you're just telling me things like can I walk through level one and it hurts me just a little bit but if I go anywhere near a 15 it will like instantly eat me I have no clue plus I'm gonna go park this away hey I like that I like that you can park this in here I think that's really cool I just wish the base was connected. Like, why am I walking out outside again? Like, literally. Why is there not, like, this hab built onto the side of that? Um, right, I need to put that in that. Repairs complete. Okay, good. Systems online. Well, hey, what systems? Analysis shows the colony's power level is less than expected. Well, that's not good. Enter the colony plan visualizer. This one. Okay. The solar array is not connected to the colony. Click here to view the connections. Click a connection to add between. Success, the building is now connected to the network. Remember, all buildings need to be connected to order to function. Awesome, we actually have power and it's not red anymore. Oxygen's approaching 15. Okay, there we go, we've got a bit of oxygen. Uh, proceed to vehicle status terminal. I'm assuming this is this is connected to this. Welcome to the garage interface, Pioneer. Spend research points and JCB credits to upgrade the garage. <gasps> we can upgrade the things. The arm to the JMC X18. Oh my this God! Tree represents. Once the upgrade is selected, a summary is shown. Spend research points to research the research complete. This upgrade, upgrade it? can now be applied to any JMC. This upgrade is now applied. Further upgrades are now available for research. Oh, awesome! So I can have like. 
Increase hold size, but that's going to cost me 5,000 research points, and I'm down to 500 now. Notice that the JMCX-18 <gasps> wow. is now upgraded with an excavation arm. Return to the hab. Okay. Well, Stropio, what? Like, come on, I've just... I'm impressed that I've just upgraded that thing. JCB has been notified of your survival. Awesome. Well, they're like, oh, guys, they're like this this person this apparently survived. This will now enter hibernation until one of these directives fails to be satisfied. Maintain life support systems. Provide solutions critical to Martian survival. The creation of a self-sustaining habitat. I'm screwed then. I have no clue what to do. Uh, Utilize the trade post to begin your pioneer mission. Trade post. Get some air. Habitation units air pro processors have been damaged. You will need to build an O2 generator in order to fill your O2 canisters to aid you in your expeditions. Okay, let's select that one then. Go to the CPV. Uh, build this. Individual buildings and blueprints are stored together in their categories. Okay. O2 generator. Uh, 3D printers are summoned and placed in the world. You'll need resources to create the buildings. E, e to rotate. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so if I just build that like that. Okay. Um, but I need to go collect five raw copper, five raw iron, and five raw zinc. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, okay, so I need to go get these resources. I'm assuming I need to go do that with my vehicle. I'm assuming that's where it's, like, I've built this arm on it now. Right, so let's go find some resources then. Um, it says resources are this way. Let's go this way then. We'll see what's going on. So I'm going to find out how to get these resources in and then I think we might actually have to leave the episode there. Um, so building that will be the next next thing to do which um yeah this this is this is an interesting interesting game um i haven't really got it into it yet so we don't really know much about it is that a resource pool press v to engage tool Ooh, click to resource pool <gasps> arms extending i'm now drilling oh no i'm just just picking up stuff oh that's cool we now have enough resources to store to the 3D printer. When you have built over the warehouse, you can deliver the resources. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. So I can just gather resources this way. Right, okay, guys. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Um, if you did like this, then please do hit that like button. And if you want to see more, then please do subscribe. But I'm definitely looking forward to uh, enjoying this this series. It looks different from what we've normally been doing. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep going. So... As I said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.